WOSN. We welcome you to a special edition Frickers State Football Recap Show. We have three Midwest Athletic Conference teams headed to state for the third consecutive year. Division 5, it's Coldwater looking for yet another state title. Division 6, Marion Local looking for their fifth in six years and looking to get back after that loss to Kirtland last year. And in Division 7, it's the Minster Wildcats. They won it a couple years ago when Eli Wolf was a senior. Now, of course, he's a sophomore at Tennessee. Garen Stokes Club back in Columbus Saturday morning. We will start, however, with the Marion Local Flyers. Tim Goodwin's success well documented. The Flyers, the highest winning percentage in the state of Ohio in the postseason. He's won eight state championships back-to-back -back many years for Marion Local. And all of this coverage is brought to you by our good friends at Moeller Trucking on Friday. The one loss Flyers, their only setback taking place against Coldwater back in week three when they hurt, they, they lost their big lineman to an injury. They haven't lost since. Meantime, the opponent, Cuyahoga Heights in state for the first time, undefeated on the season. They are just seven miles outside of downtown Cleveland. We head to the shoe for the Friday morning highlights. A lot of star power. You saw Brian Hartline. How about Urban, Urban Meyer? Recruiting the Flyers, maybe. After a Cuyahoga field goal, Marion Local starts out strong. Dwayne Ligers finds Ryan Toby for a big pickup. Later, it's the Flyers going outside to Nate Moeller. And he goes inside the end zone, 7-3. Marion Local, second quarter now, still 7-3. Flyers with the ball on that one yard line again. Fourth down, they go for it. The gamble pays off. Ligers keeps it, tapping off a 99-yard, nine-minute drive. Later in the second, Flyers looking to add to that lead before the half, and Ligers dancing his way to the end zone. What a game for the senior. 22-yard touchdown, 21-3, Marion Local. Cuyahoga comes out of the locker room like Kirtland did a season ago. Brett Lowther, QB keeper score, 21-10. Then after a blocked punt, Cuyahoga capitalizes. Lucas D'Arazio punches it in. 21-17 in the fourth as they don't go for two. They kick the extra point, so a four-point deficit. Flyers looking to milk that clock. Ligers keeps it here, but the ball comes out. Cuyahoga recovers all the momentum on their side now, looking to take the lead. Cuyahoga wouldn't have it for long, though. How about the sophomore? Matt Rethman in the secondary, a one-handed interception holding on to it. There's a new doctor in the house in the Rethman family. Could be a top five play. They lay felt lovely top five play. We will see. But Mary Local trying to bleed that clock. Fourth and nine, 240 to go. Ligers looks at the end zone, but somehow Tyler Seelig rips it away. What an interception there. Cuyahoga wouldn't have much luck on the next drive. Fourth down and long. The Flyers, Dylan Keller. Huge sack, but it's not over. Flyers get it down under a minute. Turn it over on downs. And so one last shot for Red. Six seconds to go near midfield. Lowther heaves it. Flyer defense stays at home. And Marion Local back on top of the football world in Division VI. They win it 21 to 17. But for Marion Local, they're state champs again. You know, we, we just came out and did our best. And, and uh, you know, obviously what happened last year was, was uh, was a big motivation for our whole off season. Just, uh, yeah, it was a roller coaster, and I'm just, just uh, excited that we were able to make one play at the end. I can't even describe my feelings right now. I first half thought we played really good. And second half, I mean, everything just kind of went downhill real quick, and our hearts started beating fast. And I thank God for a good defense. Our defense kept us in it. Offense didn't really play the greatest game. Our second half, it's awesome. I mean. I couldn't thank the people and these fans anymore. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, it makes me want to cry, but I mean, families up there, they support us every game. It's unbelievable. I mean, offenses win games, but defenses win championships. And uh, our defense has been lights out all year, and it's great to have a defense to come back and rely on at the end of the day. I don't know, it's just doing our job, come up with the big, coaches always say, make a big play. and. I know that's what just what we worked as a team and changed the momentum and help us win the game. Uh, I'm pretty excited right now. They were a great team. We had our ups and downs. We made mistakes, but we came out on top. Our defense was on top of the game most of the game. I mean, we had our ups and downs, but we got them for the most part. 
So congratulations to Tim Goodwin and company, their fifth state title in six years, ninth overall. What a victory for Marion Local on Friday. Saturday, two more MAC teams woke up looking to win state titles. When we return, we'll have highlights from the Minster Wildcats right here on WSN. I just love this shirt. If only they could get it in my school colors. MVP Sports & More will customize the shirt so you look and feel like an MVP all year long. T-shirts, sweatshirts, dress shirts for any school in any color. MVP Sports & More, customized just for you. The Fricker State Recap Show is brought to you by... Moeller Trucking is proud to sponsor the State Recap Show. Congratulations to all our MAC schools and their accomplishments. Wabash Mutual Telephone Company, providing phone, internet, and digital TV services to Mercer County residents. Proud to support Mercer County Athletics. We are proud to sponsor the State Recap Show. Congrats to all area teams on a great year. Ray's Refrigeration, your water furnished geothermal expert. Save up to 70% on heating and cooling your home with water furnished geothermal. The geothermal 30% tax credit ends December 2016. Raise Refrigeration, geothermal, heating, cooling, refrigeration, and appliance in cold water since 1946. Congratulations, Cavs, Flyers, and Wildcats. Way to make your communities proud. Frickers and Van Wert would like to say congratulations to all our area teams. Remember, Frickers and Van Wert, where kids eat free every day. Celebrating the game or enjoying a great time with fun people. You know we're talking about McSobers and cold water. Always top entertainment and mouth-watering food. Throw in Mercer County's coldest beverages and you've come to the right place. After the game or any time, make it McSobers. Congratulations, Coldwater Cavaliers and our entire MAC conference on a job well done. And by Grand Lake Guns not only supports area athletics, we support America's freedom. How? The proper safety and use of our natural right to bear arms. We have our area's largest selection of firearms. Congratulations to Coldwater, Marion Local, and Minster for your great accomplishments this season. You know us. Grand Lake Guns, Salina. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. St. Henry Tile has been serving your needs since 1960. Next time you're in need of quality construction materials, call St. Henry Tile, going beyond our customer expectations. MVP Sports More is your fan apparel headquarters, centrally located in the MAC in the Big Brick Building on State Route 274 in Chickasaw. For your shopping convenience, we are now open Monday and Friday evenings until 7. Let MVP Sports More make you feel like an MVP all season long. Back at Ohio Stadium, the Minster Faithful pouring in and Jerry Snodgrass, a busy weekend for you, three days of high school football. How does today feel headed into Saturday? Well, to be honest with you, it's been a busy almost six weeks, you know, with all of our fall tournaments wrapping up. But uh, what a great day. This is football weather. Uh, we're in the shoe. Uh, when you're down here in the field, Andy, uh, and to our viewers, it's incredible when you look at the uh, eyes, you hear the little comments of the players coming out of that tunnel. It is really special. All around the state, we love to hear when Jerry Snodgrass presents a trophy. You always know about the community. How does that come about? I know at Northwest Ohio, you've lived it, so you know a lot of these communities, but no matter what corner of the state, when you're presenting a trophy at the state championships, you seem to know the ins and outs. Well, you know, I will say this for one. I feel like I'm very engaged. My job, uh, it, it's essential to my job to be engaged in those communities and know what they experience. You know, secondly, I am a Northwest Ohio guy through and through. I say it all the time working here in this big metropolis that I still live in Northwest Ohio and it's one of the best things I could possibly do because I do stay engaged. And, and lastly, I will tell you, Andy, the communities in Northwest Ohio, the three that are here this weekend, they make it very easy to present those trophies because everything you talk about is so real in those communities. Very local, Minster Coldwater. Nice to see some friendly faces down here. It most certainly is, and you feel, trust me, after all these years of them being here, you feel like you really know them personally. 
Long time TV 44 broadcaster Jerry Snodgrass. We'll get him on during basketball once more. I know Mark and Mark enjoyed that couple, last couple of years. Have really enjoyed that. That gets me back and keeps me back in my roots. And I'm always very, very thankful and blessed that I'm able to do what I do because of that. Up next, Minster goes for its second state title in three years. Plus, still to come, Coldwater looking for a fifth straight state championship. All right here on the Frickers football recap show from Columbus. The Fricker State Recap Show is brought to you by Moeller Trucking is proud to sponsor the State Recap Show. Congratulations to all our Mac schools and their accomplishments. Wabash Mutual Telephone Company, providing phone, internet, and digital TV services to Mercer County residents. Proud to support Mercer County Athletics. We are proud to sponsor the State Recap Show. Congrats to all area teams on a great year. For all your trucking needs, call Brookside Trucking and Maria Stein. We are proud to support the State Recap Show. Congratulations to all our area teams and their accomplishments this football season. Mercer County Electric wants to say congratulations to the Coldwater Cavaliers, Minster Wildcats, and Marion Local Flyers. You had a great season and we thank you for the memories. Fuelsman Automotive, providing more than 65 years of quality service and trustworthy care to our customers. Proud of our area schools and athletics. Congratulations to our MAC teams, especially our Marion Local Flyers. And by Holman Insurance in Chickasaw is a genuine Mercer County home and agricultural insurance specialist. Years of caring about our community's needs and customer satisfaction have made Holman a go-to insurance provider in our area. Congratulations to our Marion Local Flyers and our MAC Conference on another outstanding football season. Leefeld Welding Supply can be a benefit to you and your firm. Our staff with over 200 years of experience can assist you in making decisions. Contact our inside sales staff or arrange a sales representative to visit your facility. Our customer care product support continues with our service department to assist you providing warranty and repair services. Leefeld's produces and fills most industrial cylinder gases and provide on-site bulk gas vessels when required. We deliver product support and knowledge with experience in the Lima and surrounding areas. Frickers wrote the book on fun, food, sports, and spirits. Bring your friends and family and enjoy all the fun that Frickers has to offer. Mouth-watering chicken wings, boneless wings, frickin' chicken chunks, burgers, fries, and kids eat free every day. Want to watch the game? We've got TVs everywhere. For fun, food, sports, and spirits, we wrote the book. Frickers. So Marion local state champions, what about the Minster Wildcats? Early in the season, they got off to a great start, beating two Shelby County rivals, Fort Loramie in overtime, and then Lehman Catholic in week number two. They were 2-0. Then they went on a stretch, losing to some of the Max perennial powers before they had cold water at home on homecoming. And the Wildcats handed the Cavaliers their first and only loss of the regular season at Minster. All of a sudden the world was awakened to the Minster Wildcats and the playoff points were added up and before you know it the Wildcats had a home playoff game and they had a win in round two over Upper Sauda Valley and then a big win, kind of a statement win over Macomb in the state semifinals in a back and forth affair that went the Wildcats way. Garen Stokes team in Columbus for the second time in three years. You remember two years ago Eli Wolf doing his magic in the 2014 state title game to give the Wildcats their second state football championship. Looking for number three on Saturday. And all this coverage brought to you by our friends at the Minster Bank. The Lima Senior Ohio State grad who played in the NFL, William White, the honorary captain for this Division Seven game. Minster would defer, good defensive stand, so they get the ball. First quarter, Jared Hillsman to Jonathan Niemeyer. They're knocking on the door, first down at the 28. Same. Combination coming up later, but look at this run. Schmeezing busting through. Now back to the air. Hillsman on the run finds Niemeyer at the 10 yard line. Fourth down. Minster's going for it. Hillsman, though, sacked. And they would turn it over on downs. That Wildcat defense tough in the first half. The senior Isaac Dorsten slamming a door right here. And then Hillsman lowering the boom, breaking up a pass. 
So the Cats looking to capitalize after the punt. Hillsman going deep to Isaac Schmeezing. We saw Bryce already on the run. Nice first down catch. Hillsman so good at keeping the option. And he keeps his options open with a nice first down run here in the opening quarter. Caps it off with this keeper. Hillsman makes it 6-0 in favor of Minster. Second Warren JFK's in the red zone. Nice little trickery here, but watch the ball popped loose. Alex Lemkul lands on it, but the Cats would give it right back. A turnover of their own, and JFK capitalizes. Greg Gregory Vallant makes it 7-6. Warren, Minster fumbles the ensuing kickoff. Justin Bofenkamp, a 29-yard field goal, 10-6 at the half. Minster trailing. Punt coverage coming up big in the third. Hillsman firing up. The Minster fans, late third quarter, same score. JFK looking to add some insurance, and Evan Boyd dives for the touchdown, 17-6. To Warren, JFK looking for their second state title. Jonathan Niemeyer trying to spark the orange and black kick return near midfield here. Then it's Hillsman, another piece of running. He did all he could against that tough and quick defense today. First down. Fourth quarter, same drive. Still down 11. Hillsman calls his own number. Good decision. They're marching. Then Hillsman to Bryce Schmeezing. Ties the state record. His 42nd straight game with a catch. Hillsman knocking on the door. Gets it inside the 10 here. Fourth and goal. Minster will go for it again. But good coverage in the secondary Incomplete pass, turnover on downs. Fourth down, three minutes and 10 seconds left in this one. Minster crowd in the box. Boyd breaks it. 39 yard touchdown, had 166 yards on the game. Minster falls 24 to 6. They finish 10 and 5 on the season, but Coach Garen Stokes gets choked up saying goodbye to eight seniors. All right, they're toughest. These, these guys aren't good football players, and they know it. They turn themselves into good football players uh, because of their work ethic and character. And, uh, these guys are winners. I, they, they, the clock hit zero and we weren't defeated. These guys are winners. So the guys that should be coaches of the year and uh, they uh, very much deserve uh, applause for the way that they played and that the way they came all the way back through the playoffs and won. So that's the first thing I'd like to say. Second thing I'd like to say is uh, I really thought that they punched us in the mouth early and um, our kids were a little nervous. That has a lot to do with their defense. Uh, they're as good as we've seen and aggressive and exposed every weakness that we had. Uh, I, I just, our kids kept battling. It, it wasn't because of their character. It was, that team was better than us today. You turn it over against a good team like that, you get exposed. So. Uh, just really proud of our kids. I would say that Macomb was the most physically dominating team that we played. These guys were really fast, raining the ball. They were always hitting you every play. They weren't like Macomb where you're getting pounded and drilled every time, but they flew around, definitely. That's a, a really good football team that deserves a state championship. Uh, JFK, and they, they play the right way, they play physical and tough, and they, they, they created problems for us the whole game. And, uh, can't get here at a game like this in the building like this and turn the ball over like we did. Uh, haven't turned the ball over all year, and uh, to do that here is just bad timing. Uh, just really proud of, of the way our kids have fought and battled. You know, the clock hit zero again, and um, just feel like we're not defeated. Uh, just, you can't defeat us. And that's, that's a credit to our seniors. Sad for our kids because we don't get to go to practice Monday, uh, but that was going to happen either way. So. Uh, that, that team deserves a state championship. Uh, two and four at one point this season. People question if we were even going to make the playoffs. But to uh, end it here in Columbus, I couldn't be more proud, more happy of how we finished the season. Uh, I'm just proud of our kids. and They shouldn't have been here. They, they're playing on house money and uh, picked a bad time and a bad day to turn the ball over. But that happens. And they continue to fight exactly what we ask of them. And uh, I'm just really proud of the senior group and the, the way our kids handled that today. Tough ending to a special season for the Minster Wildcats. When we return, the final state championship game of the weekend, Division 5, Coldwater going for its fifth straight. Plus, still to come, we'll talk with William White here on the Frickers Football Recap Show from Columbus on WOSN.
The Fricker State Recap Show is brought to you by Moeller Trucking is proud to sponsor the State Recap Show. Congratulations to all our Mac schools and their accomplishments. Wabash Mutual Telephone Company, providing phone, internet, and digital TV services to Mercer County residents. Proud to support Mercer County Athletics. We are proud to sponsor the State Recap Show. Congrats to all area teams on a great year. Ray's Refrigeration, your water furnished geothermal expert. Save up to 70% on heating and cooling your home with water furnished geothermal. The geothermal 30% tax credit ends December 2016. Ray's Refrigeration, geothermal, heating, cooling, refrigeration, and appliance in cold water since 1946. Congratulations, Cavs, Flyers, and Wildcats. Way to make your communities proud. Frickers and Van Wert would like to say congratulations to all our area teams. Remember, Frickers and Van Wert, where kids eat free every day. Celebrating the game or enjoying a great time with fun people. You know we're talking about McSobers and cold water. Always top entertainment and mouth-watering food. Throw in Mercer County's coldest beverages and you've come to the right place. After the game or any time, make it McSobers. Congratulations, Coldwater Cavaliers and our entire MAC conference on a job well done. And by Grand Lake Guns not only supports area athletics, we support America's freedom. How? The proper safety and use of our natural right to bear arms. We have our area's largest selection of firearms. Congratulations to Coldwater, Marion Local, and Minster for your great accomplishments this season. You know us. Grand Lake Guns, Salina. St. Henry Tile has been serving your needs since 1960. Next time you're in need of quality construction materials, call St. Henry Tile, going beyond our customer expectations. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Welcome back one final time to the Frickers State Football Recap Show. Thanks to our good friends at Frickers. Coldwater, they're the final game of the weekend of the seven divisions. And the reigning D5 state champ the last four years looking to do it again with a whole new cast of character. Just a handful of guys that started last year and played meaningful minutes. And yet all they've done is win a piece of the MAC championship and make it back to state once again, that win over Coshocton was convincing in the state semifinals. Wabash Mutual Telephone Company bringing you all of these highlights from the shoe involving cold water round number three with Canton Central Catholic. Eight straight title game for cold water. First quarter, the Cavs defense in pursuit. 44s on 44. Ryan Kanapke and company. A big stop, a defensive first half. Then the Cavs force the punt. Dylan Toby up top to Zach Klosterman. First down, but Coldwater would miss a field goal. Orange Crush continues to reign supreme. Creighton Bettinger and Andrew Seifring. Another punt for Canton Central Catholic. Second quarter, more defense. Cavs force the fumble. They can't recover, but they were moving the green team backwards. Fourth down now. They're going for it, but Seifring the sack. Turnover on downs. Huge game for the senior. Cavs in the red zone, but Harris Stuffel picks this one off. Turnover here, still scoreless. Late in the second quarter, Canton driving. Big hit by Bettinger, backing them up, but it sets up a 48-yard field goal try, and Dan Mills, as time expires, knocks it through. 3-0 Canton Central Catholic at the break. Third quarter, more turnover trouble for Coldwater. T. Rupp, interception. And he would return it deep into Cavalier territory. And Jack Murphy would capitalize, finding Cameron Ruffin. Missed extra points, so it's 9-0 green leading. Back comes Cole Waters. It gets exciting. Toby picking his way. Nice keeper for a first down. Then Toby, all kinds of time, looks to his left. Now back to his right. Neil Mullenkamp sque squeezes free. 9-7 to seven after the touchdown. Cavaliers within two. 
They get it back after a defensive stand. Toby, again to the ground game. The senior doing such a good job leading that offense against the tough D. Fourth quarter, same drive. Toby, the design run. They're marching, trying to get that go-ahead score. Then Toby diving through. First down at the four-yard line. Just over eight minutes to play. Toby will keep it. He'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Coldwater. They don't convert the two-point play, but they lead 13-9, and all of Coldwater in Columbus going crazy. Andrew Seifring's coming to get you, but Canton converting all kinds of fourth downs on this final possession. Then a bad snap. Seifring again gets in there for the sack, but once again, CCC resilient. Murphy to Rupp. Sheds a tackler, and he's gone. Touchdown makes it 16-13 green, under a minute to play. Can Toby orchestrate a come-from-behind win? Nice pass to Klosterman. They're across midfield, and they're moving. Then five seconds left, right around the 40. Toby heaves it, but too much green in the end zone. Interception, the Cavs lose a heartbreaker. 16-13, snapping a 24-game Playoff win streak. They finish the season 13 and 2. You punt it down to the five yard line and, and yeah. think you're in good position. Uh, you know, we got the big sack and then we got an interference call and, and uh, just frustrating for the kids. You know, you, you feel like you didn't play great, but you, but right. you come back and, and make some plays and, and uh, they, they made one more, I guess, right there at the end. No, no question about it. You know, when you get here, you want to you win it. And, it, and you don't ever know when you're going to get back. So, so uh, you know, when you can get one, you know, I'm sure they, they were they were played with, 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 you know, like they wanted to win, you know, and, and, and certainly so do we. But uh, it's a, just a, a fun game to watch, I'm guessing, if you're a fan. But unfortunately for us, uh, not good enough. But, uh, reflecting on the guys that put so much into it, you know, Neil and Dylan and Troy and C from watching there and and uh, you know I guess you right now hurting for them because uh, their last game you know they went 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 down when felt like maybe we were right there to win it um, so I just you know a lot of our old players were right down here in the corner and and kind of uh, you know thankful that they were they uh, were right there with our guys and uh, so hopefully we can try it again next year and keep keep moving forward. So the Cavaliers share the MAC championship and finish 13 and two on the season. When we return, we'll wrap things up, catching up with Lima senior grad William White here on WOSN. It's the Frickers State Football Recap Show. The Fricker State Recap Show is brought to you by Moeller Trucking is proud to sponsor the State Recap Show. Congratulations to all our Mac schools and their accomplishments. Wabash Mutual Telephone Company, providing phone, internet, and digital TV services to Mercer County residents. Proud to support Mercer County Athletics. We are proud to sponsor the State Recap Show. Congrats to all area teams on a great year. For all your trucking needs, call Brookside Trucking and Maria Stein. We are proud to support the State Recap Show. Congratulations to all our area teams and their accomplishments this football season. Mercer County Electric wants to say congratulations to the Coldwater Cavaliers, Minster Wildcats, and Marion Local Flyers. You had a great season and we thank you for the memories. Fuelsman Automotive, providing more than 65 years of quality service and trustworthy care to our customers. Proud of our area schools and athletics. Congratulations to our MAC teams, especially our Marion Local Flyers. And by Holman Insurance in Chickasaw is a genuine Mercer County home and agricultural insurance specialist. Years of caring about our community's needs and customer satisfaction have made Holman a go-to insurance provider in our area. Congratulations to our Marion Local Flyers and our MAC Conference on another outstanding football season. Frickers wrote the book on fun, food, sports, and spirits. Bring your friends and family and enjoy all the fun that Frickers has to offer. Mouth-watering chicken wings, boneless wings, frickin' chicken chunks, burgers, fries, and kids eat free every day. Want to watch the game? We've got TVs everywhere. For fun, food, sports, and spirits, we wrote the book. Frickers. Well, here at Ohio Stadium, the honorary captain, William White, for the Division 7 game. 
How special is this to be back at the Horseshoe with high school football, something you grew up loving? Oh, well, it's always a pleasure to be back in the Horseshoe and to see these kids have an opportunity to play in a stadium like this, you know, for the state championship is always a great honor. Bring back memories of your Lima Senior High School days, never getting here, but well, certainly playing. Yeah, at Lima Senior, we was never able to play here, but, you know, we got close to playing at St. John Arena in basketball, but yeah, our basketball football team, we was a little different. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> How have things been going for you? Give us an update. Well, things are going well. You know, my, my son is at uh, Old Intangy Liberty. They, they made it to the regional finals, lost against uh, St. Ignatius. Um, you know, he's coming here to go to Ohio State uh, on a football scholarship. So my daughter's doing well. My wife still loves me. So, you know, life is good. <laughs> what are some things God's been teaching you recently in, in your faith journey or just in life? Well, just in life is just the, the consistency. I think it's uh, Proverbs uh, 19, 21 that says many are the ways of the plans of man, but it's God's plan that's in the end that's going to come out. So, you know, even at the age of 50, I'm learning to make sure that, you know, there's a lot of stuff I want to do, things that I have interest in, but I still got to convert and talk to God about it to make sure it's still in alignment with what he wants me to do. Because, you know, no matter if it's good things or bad things that are happening, Romans 8, 28 for all things work together. So, you know, in the good and the bad, I know my heavenly father is watching over me and, and nothing has ever happened in my life. And he looked down and said, mm, William, I didn't know that was going to happen. So, you know, I, I'm just trying to stay connected to him and make sure that I do the things that uh, he wants me to do. What a season by our local high school football teams. We thank you for watching. We thank all the coaches and players, fans for making this a great and memorable fall. Once again, here for high school football. Thanks to Frickers for our state football recap show. We'll see you next time right here on WI.